We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? Today we are going to talk about something that is massively trending right now, and that's Greta Thunberg and the Global Week of Action and all of her speeches that she's doing that are just going viral on the internet right now. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. You say you hear us and that you understand the urgency. But no matter how sad and angry I am, I do not want to believe that, because if you really understood the situation and still kept on failing to act, then you would be evil, and that I refuse to believe. How dare you pretend that this can be sold with just business as usual and some technical solutions? With today's emissions levels, that remaining CO2 budget will be entirely gone within less than eight and a half years. You are failing us. But the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say we will never forgive you. The world is waking up. And change is coming whether you like it or not. Thank you. There is a unique phenomenon they're actually calling the Greta Thunberg effect. And so what that is, is the way that she is addressing the adults in the world, basically, is you should be ashamed and you should feel guilty that you did this to me. I should be in school. Um, I shouldn't have to be out here protesting. And so people, adults are actually saying that it's a very effective technique to get politicians to listen because they feel that guilt. It's like they're listening to their own child speak to them and say, I'm disappointed in you. And that is an incredibly effective technique that we're finding out. And one of the things she's trending for today actually is her side eye to Donald Trump. <laughs> She really started making headlines because last year she stood in front of the Swedish parliament with a sign saying she was striking for the climate and no one joined her. And then this year she has been totally spearheading and inspiring this global week of climate action. I've been involved with some of the protests this week. Um, if you want to see more, I did a day in the life of an environmental activist video where I attended some of the global climate strike protests. So she sailed from Plymouth, UK to New York, US in a 60 foot racing yacht. It was actually equipped with solar panels and underwater turbines. One thing I really love about Greta that I don't feel from other environmental activists how she actually practices what she preaches you know like i think the big problem was like when leonardo dicaprio went to the oil sands and he flew around in his helicopter and everyone kind of just it just gave fuel to the fire of like look at these environmentalists flying around their helicopters over the oil sands they have no idea what they're talking about there is now a term in sweden that i'm not even going to try to say it but it's basically fear of flying but it's more of like the fear and the guilt associated with the environmental impacts of flying and now flying is down and domestic train traveling is up. No one can ever tell her like, oh, look at you, you environmentalist. And then you're like flying around to all these different countries. Like, no, she gave up air travel. She's getting all these people all around the world calling her an inspiration. Like you're such an inspiration. And she's just so matter of fact and blunt. And she's saying, don't look up to me 
and don't listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. I swear it's not because <laughs> I'm a scientist, but I think that is one of the most intelligent and well-informed opinions that a little girl can have. I shouldn't even call her a little girl. She's a 16 year old girl. For someone in the next generation to really be a voice of the generation and a voice of even the kids that aren't born yet and what they think is just really incredible to see attention being brought to her cause. We've had so many different versions of environmentalists that one that just speaks the point is like direct is like kind of exactly who we needed at this point because in the era of like politicians who are really personalities you need to have an activist who is also a personality and someone else who can like go head to head with these politicians that we're having on the news we don't hear much that often from that young generation and now we're finally starting to have these really strong personalities come out of that age group. I really like her and I really approve of what she's saying. I know she's not really like the same as like a Jane Goodall, but I could totally see her as like this generation's Jane Goodall, like kind of that like personality. So thank you guys for watching this episode of This Week in Ecology and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.